the right here and here are going to be two places where thermal paste is applied on the other side and it will lock the main board pretty tightly to the lower side of this metal shield that has the heat sink and the heat pipes and everything on it. So it's gonna take some getting it's gonna take some doing but you gotta be careful not to flex the main board and with enough perseverance don't don't bend the shit out of it but just keep constant pressure on it until it separates you'll see two places with heat pipes where thermal paste was applied if you want to redo these and I certainly suggest redoing these if you get in here just clean off the just clean off the old thermal paste with isopropyl alcohol and put new quality thermal paste in now I will be up front and I will tell you that I didn't do this last time and it still worked fine I played some Ratchet and Clank Future and it didn't crap out on me but I highly suggest that after each time you crack this main board free from this uh, heat sink that you reapply the thermal paste also there's a uh, this chip right here has a thermal pad on it it might the thermal pad might stick to the chip and well in my case it's stuck to the it's stuck to the heat sink here make sure that pad is in place no matter what on the main board you'll see two thermal pads here and two thermal pads missing here well the two thermal pads are they stuck to the heat they stuck to the heat sink keep track of your thermal pads another thing if you have electronics cleaner use that instead of isopropyl to clean the the crud off of these uh, chips the one I'm molesting with the Haynes tube sock right now is the brains of this computer the cell broadband engine and the one with all the shit on it is the RSX no doubt but the objective here is to get this thing nice and clean so you can put new Antec Arctic Silver or something on it that'll restore the thermal integrity I just I just do this in stages put a little bit of electronics cleaner on a holy sock and rub the crud off moving to a clean section of the sock that's why I retired that sock because it had a hole in the heel And ta-da, the RSX is showing its RSX. I uh, hit it with the hit it with the electronics cleaner a little bit more to make sure everything is fully off. There you go, ready for a new heat sink compound. Getting some excess off of the edges there where I don't have enough dexterity to get my hands down in there. You want to make sure that none of the compound 
is left on the circuit board because um, some thermal compound is electrically conductive. Don't want electrically conductive things on your circuit board. Be the equivalent of a solder blob. And there, nice and clean.